Hello everyone, the Nasir with Section VFX. In this video, I'm going to give you some quick tips on compositing blood elements from Action VFX Blood Hits collection. We will learn how to add blood effects into a scene and make them blend with the environment. So, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so this is our plate. Here we have our talent, Luke, being shot at twice. First on the torso and then on the forehead. We will be focusing on creating the blood hits on the torso on this tutorial. Here I have added a null that I placed and animated to where the blood would spray out of the body. So we are going to parent all of our elements later into this null tracker. And since Luke here is moving really fast and has a lot of motion blur, I could get away with just animating the null by hand. Now before adding the blood hit, we want to add a bullet wound first. I want to have the bullet to exit the body on the back. And since the wound would be moving along the body really fast and out of focus, I decided to just use a dark red solid that I have masked and feathered. And then I turned the blending mode of the solid to overlay and then parent it to the null. And of course, I want to trim the layer so it pops out only when look gets hit. If you are going to have the wound to be super visible in the scene, you can instead use elements from our Bleeding Fabric collection or Gore Texture collection. Next, let's add our Exploding Blood from our Blood Hits collection, which by the way, is currently free for our Action VFX subscribers until the end of this October, so you don't want to miss that out. Okay, since Luke here is being shot at from a bit of an angle, I will be using this side angled Blood Hit element. I want to position it to where the bullet is exiting, and then I want to parent it to the null tracker. And if the angle of the blood still look a bit off, you can just turn the blood layer into 3D and then rotate it a bit to add more dimension into the element. Then I want to trim out the beginning part of the blood. That way the blood is already exploding pretty big when it appears in the scene. And also the blood is currently moving quite slow. So we want to right click and time stretch and speed this up by 50%. Before we go further, don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more tutorials like this one. And now, let's go back to the video. Now, color correcting the blood is very tricky because at the end, it depends on your taste. Some people like having a dark red color which is a bit more realistic, while some other like it very stylized, like bright red color. For me, I want to keep this realistic dark red color that we already have. So now we want to match this to fit into the environment. The key to color matching an element is to look for reference within the plate. For example, our blood here looks a bit too saturated compared to the muted tone of the background plate. So let's get hue and saturation and we want to desaturate our blood a little bit. And then we want to match the black and white levels of the blood. If we open our info here in After Effects and point to a darker area of the blood, we can see that within the blood's black pixels, we have an overwhelmingly red color compared to the green and blue. Then if we cross reference to the black point of the plate of the environment, we can see that the plate's black pixel is a bit more even. With red still has the biggest value, but not a lot compared to the green and blue. So now we want to mimic the black levels of the environment on the blood. Maybe not an exact replication, but at least within the same ratio. So let's add a curve and lift the black levels of the blue and the green a little bit. Next, let's do the same with the highlights or the white color. The highlights of the environment is very gloomy compared to our blood. So just like before, let's match our blood by pulling down our white point just a touch. Basically, you want to keep nudging the color back and forth until it looks correct to your scene. Next, we want our blood to have the same blurriness as Luke here. So let's add a camera lens blur to our blood to make it out of focus. And then let's turn on the motion blur to add motion blur into the blood. Okay, now to populate the scene even more, you can also add some blood mist on top using our blood mist volume one and two collections. And then you want to make sure these blood mists to be color corrected as well. Now, in some cases, like on my final shot, you want to add some blood splatter on the wall as well. To do that, you can use our blood splatter asset collection and apply the same color correction techniques as before. And that was tips on compositing blood hits into your scene. This blood compositing technique is not just for bullet hits. You can apply this 
for stabbing seams or even wound effects. And of course, all the elements that I used in this tutorial can be purchased anytime at actionvfx.com. At ActionVFX, we provide fast library of high-quality VFX stock footage for your projects. From fire and smoke, energy effects and explosions, and many, many others. You can purchase them directly or sign up to our subscription starting at the low cost of $14.99 a month. This is the most affordable way to access our library. It's saving you at least 80% off, including our subscribers-only free collections, and you can cancel anytime, no contract. Thank you so much for watching, I encourage you to drop a like and let us know in the comment section below what kind of tutorials that you'd like to see next. But most of all, be sure to subscribe, we are aiming for 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And also, there are other resources on this channel such as other VFX tutorials, podcasts, VFX breakdowns, and many others. So be sure to check them out as well. Let us be your number one resource for visual effects. So, see you next time, bye bye.